Hey guys, what's going on? I'm the Wise Matthew. You know how this works. I give you my favorite picks of Android apps of the week. You check them out, comment, like me, whatever you want to do. It's up to you guys. Let's go ahead and get into this week's apps. Okay everyone, so the first game I'm going to show for you today is called Strike Fleet Omega. This is a strategy game, I would call it. Um, it's very interesting, so let's just go ahead and get in here and show you what it's about. So right here is going to be your menu system. This is where you're going to um, upgrade uh, your ships. And uh, it is in space in a futuristic time. Uh, these are different uh, sectors you can go to. Um, so let me just pick one here just to show you. Click continue. And then here's where you're going to be able to upgrade your weapons. Um, you can get different fighters uh, as you go through and unlock more. There are more available. So right now um, I have a... Go back. I have a command ship, so uh, this is my big boy command ship. You just click on that, and it'll tell you the stats. You can upgrade it once you have these points. Uh, your points will be in the top left. So it's pretty self-explanatory. So let me go ahead and show you the gameplay. It's really fun. And uh, by the way, these are a couple of perks um, you can add on. So this one's Hot Shot Fighter. Uh, you have regeneration nanobots and extra combat simulations. So let's go ahead and get in the game and show you the gameplay. Okay, so here's the gameplay, and this is your command ship. What you're going to do is tap on a little green symbol, and this will release uh, up to five fighters. They're called star fighters. And then you can use directional to uh, plan a path where they go. So, like I said, a little bit of strategy there. One other thing you can do is if it gets pretty crazy, you tap this little button in the bottom right, and this will send in any available ships or backup ships to your location, so just go ahead and tap on all available ships, and then you could tap on one of these white little symbols to um, decide where you want to put it. So let's just do it up here, and it warps into there, and now you have an additional up to eight star fighters that you can use. So of course, as you go on this game, and uh, uh, you'll be fighting these kind of evil uh, alien species, and you're the human race trying to survive. Um, you can upgrade uh, the number of fighters you use, um, you know, their damage, their health, all that stuff. You get special weapons, uh, which I will try to show you here in a minute. Um, but it's a very fun game. Uh, it's not going to fit everybody's style, but I happen to like it. And uh, it's a big game, so um, as you play it and you accrue points, you're going to notice that this is the type of game that can uh, really take some time to get in there and um, find the uh, true value of this game, is what I would say. So, Straight Creek Omega... This is a fun game. It's free to play. Um, it's fun to check out. If you have uh, any other questions, leave them in the comments, guys. And uh, with that, um, I'll just move on to the next app, I guess. Not much else to show on this one. But it's a good game. Let's check it out. Okay, guys, this is a crazy, fun little game called Monsters Ate My Condo. It is by Adult Swim. So if a lot of you are familiar with that, it's a fun game. I would recommend you try this. It is a, a paid app, by the way. Uh, no free app here. Um, but this is a fun, cool game. It's very crazy wacky. I'm not sure exactly what the meaning is by playing it, but it's fun. It's kind of like Jenga. So let's go ahead and go into Endless Game. Uh, you also have Time Attack, which I find very hard and it increases the difficulty quite a bit. Uh, meet the monsters. That's just going to be uh, different monsters that you're going to be playing with. Um, so the backstory is kind of there's a mutant, uh, there's a spill of radioactive material, and somehow these uh, different mutants come to be. And uh, it's, it reminds me of like a crazy Japanese game, but uh, maybe that's what we're shooting for here. All you're gonna do is it's like Jenga, you're gonna use the colors to swipe with your finger over to the correct color of um, the mutants. So, and these little down here, these special things. There are just extra uh, bonus points, and sometimes I'll put them to sleep, or if you give them in combos, it'll uh, increase your points. You want to get try to three, three, at least three like colors um, right with each other, and then I'll increase your points dramatically. It's a fun game. Like I said, it's pretty crazy, so uh, I did a review of like Hello Kitty game a long time ago, and a lot of you guys like that. Uh, it's just one of those crazy, wacky games that is just really... Uh, it's neat to show your friends and, say, you know, and see what the reaction is to it because it's, it's just hard to explain. But uh, yeah, just look at it. It's eye candy. Pure enjoyment. The sound effects are great. It makes you laugh. It's a fun, fun game. And let me just go ahead and play this a little bit, show you uh, kind of how you do this. 
You just got a combo there. And uh, I will say that if you want to try to keep it from falling over, if it falls over, of course you lose. Um, but you guys will figure that out. Another thing is you'll get concrete blocks that you can't move and it increases difficulty uh, quite a bit. Uh, it's just a fun game. And uh, I think you guys will like it if you check it out. I know it's a paid, paid app and a lot of people don't want to pay for the stuff. But uh, it's fun just to play with. Um, it's a quick game. You're not going to be playing this for hours and hours. But you'll probably be picking it up and playing it often. Especially when your friends are around. See if you can get the best score. So uh, I'm not very high. I think I'm just below 3 million points right now. So if you guys play this or you do have it right now currently, let me know what your score is, and because uh, I'll probably be playing this some more. And here you go, there's cookies and little hearts. I don't, yeah, I'm not sure. But anyway, your score's up here, uh, your levels are up here, all that good stuff, and uh, just having a good time with this game. So this is uh, Mutant Eight My Condo. Check it out, guys. All right, everyone, this game is called Traffic Panic, and it's London. This is going to be kind of a crazy um, road rash accident game. I don't know how to explain it. Just go ahead and get in here and show you guys what I'm talking about. So, this is the game, and all you're going to do is control traffic. And you're going to try your best to avoid collisions, but mainly it's going to happen no matter what. Uh, here's your turn signal, or your uh, uh, stop lights right here. And here's your traffic you're going to try to control. You want to tap the screen and try to let traffic go and stop before it collides with other traffic. So it gets pretty tricky, traffic backs up a lot, um, and uh, it's just fun to see how long you can go. That's a pretty close call right there. There are different uh, levels you can pick, so you can be in the city scene right now. Okay, I just kind of wiped out on a little motorcycle, but uh, here's the big kicker of this game. Yeah, that's right, you can blow stuff up. You can blow anything up you want up. And uh, you get points for it. Yeah, it's pretty crazy with this. So, um, there's a lot of funky ways to have fun with it, and as you go, you increase, and uh, the more points you get, the more vehicles that you allow. So right now, I, am, I have uh, motorcycles and some other vehicles, buses, and just regular cars. But, um, yeah, there's some crazy scenes you can get into where it changes different areas in London. It's all in London. Um, there's tourist areas. This is the kind of the downtown area. But it's a fun game, so I thought you guys might want to check this out for some of you guys that like blowing stuff up. Um... But that's pretty much as simple as it gets. That's all you do in this game, is you just try to uh, cause accidents and make as much damage as possible. Or you can play it the other way. You can try not to cause any accidents, but I have a feeling that probably won't last too long because it's a very difficult game when you try to play it um, completely without any collisions. So either way, guys, check this out and uh, try to do your best and see what you can get. All right, you guys, this game is called Call of Mini Zombies. This was recommended to me by a viewer and uh, I appreciate that, so thank you for recommending this game. I, I think it's pretty cool, and I think you guys might like it. So let's check it out. So Call of Mini Zombies is either a single player or multiplayer game. You can play in co-op, you can do versus. Okay guys, so like I said, there's multiplayer, but I'm gonna show you the single player just to give you a better idea. So I hope you guys can see this. This is you right here. Hope this isn't too dark for you guys. But uh, yeah, basically you're gonna use your different controls. You look around and shoot zombies and try to stay alive. Let's go ahead and shoot some of these guys. And once you shoot these zombies, you're gonna get ammo and life and all kinds of perks. And you can run around this level. So I hope you guys can see this. Hope it's not too dark for you. I apologize if it is. Um, but uh, this is a fun game. It, the controls are actually really well done, and uh, I have a lot of fun with it. Uh, when you play online multiplayer, sometimes you have trouble joining some games, uh, so give it a few times. Um, but when you go into uh, Arena, um, it's pretty fast and furious and crazy. So here's some crates, you can uh, crack those open. Sometimes they'll have uh, perks in there, like money and ammo. But a lot of times they'll have kind of these like, little zombie demon dog things that'll come after you. So uh, just be aware of that. Let me focus. Okay, yep. Yeah, here's like a little fast runner here. Uh, you do have different weapons, so I'm going to show you a chainsaw right here. This is pretty brutal and bloody. Yeah, there you go, see? Oh, man. Switch back to the assault rifle. Money! I think it's really funny how this guy runs, too. He's like, he wobbles around. Ammo! And there you see the ammo right there. 
grab that. All right, guys. So yeah, it's a fun game. It's called Called Mini Zombies. Um, if you want to see more multiplayer, then just download this. It's free, and uh, you can check it out for yourselves. Uh, make sure you play over Wi-Fi. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty laggy, depending on your connection. Um, but yeah, so check this out, guys. It's completely free. See ya. All right, guys. So for my last app, this is a really cool one that I really personally enjoy. This is called Granny Smith, and this is from the guys Mediocre, who developed the game Sprinkle, which I reviewed earlier, and they developed some really awesome games. This is actually only their second game, I believe, and they just bring it to a whole new level on uh, Android apps. So. This is Granny Smith, you're the grandma, and you have some kind of little kid, teenager stealing your apples, and you've got to get it back. So, this is what it looks like uh, when you first start. You're going to press start right here, go into this game, tool shed. Now, this is going to be where you can purchase helmets, because you're going to be crashing into different uh, buildings. Banana peels you can throw to uh, throw off the teenager, and baseballs you can also throw at the teenager. Uh, different characters, uh, you can pick the granny, the dog. Um, and there's even a Stanley if you have enough points. Uh, and you have to unlock some of the levels. Um, I have the dog right now, but I'm going to switch to the grandma and just kind of give you a better picture of the game. So, let's go back and let's pick a level. This is what you're going to find. This is a paid game. Um, but you're going to have three different territories and they will be adding to it just like they do with Angry Birds. So, let's go ahead and get into a level and show you what it's like. Gameplay is awesome. Very easy. Uh, this is your cane, which you can use to glide. Uh, as you can tell, they got the helmet on there, and there's a teenager. You jump to the bottom right, and uh, you want to kind of time things just right. Throw a banana, <laughs> throw a baseball at the kid, and you're going to try to collect these green apples. Um, Slow it up here. Um, you can hold down the right trigger, and that will allow the grandma to. Whoa! Okay, so <laughs> let's do this one more time. So here's the baseballs. I missed them. See if we can go. It's a very fun game, very funny, and uh, it's a fun game for pretty much anyone to play. Oh, I missed that. Those lines, you want to kind of get those with your cane, and that'll increase your speed. I'm doing a horrible job, guys. And there's where I need the helmet. Um, see if you can't catch up to him. Throw a banana peel. I'm not sure. Yep, he's behind me. Okay, you just heard him. Into the haystack. Baseball. <laughs> I just get the biggest kick out of this game. It's very fun. Throw a banana peel. Oh no. <laughs> and uh, there you go. I got two granny apples. But very fun game, guys. Um, you know, uh, you can also watch the clips. Here's kind of replays of everything that happened. And uh, once you go into levels, you can also replay the video there too. So it's a very cool game. Uh, I like the music. I just like the animation. I think it's really well done. It's hard to beat a game like this. Um, it's pretty much great for anyone. So this is Granny Smith. And uh, if you're into paid apps, I highly recommend you check this out. And I hope you guys like it. So let me know in the comments if you do like it. And, uh, you know, how far you've gotten. So uh, with that, guy. This week um, pretty much closes it. I know I've given you guys a few paid apps, so um, if you guys really just want free apps all the time, I apologize, but um, you know, this is Wise Matthew, and these are the apps I am into this week. So, uh, with that, have a good weekend, you guys, and take care until next time.